This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. As well as all the formatting options that we've been exploring, it is also possible to turn one of your fields, or a number of your fields, into hyperlinks. That is that they will go to another destination, be that a web address, an email, or even a physical hard file on your machine. Now we can actually turn any of your fields into hyperlinks simply by selecting the field. So we could choose the first name field, for example, on this formatted report. Right click, format the field, or format, format the field. It'll take us to the same place. And then there's the hyperlink tab. Now the default is for all of your fields to be not hyperlinked, but we can change that to an email address. So a physical email address that we simply type in here. So clicking anybody's first name would take you to that particular email address. We can do the same with a website on the internet. So again, we could change everybody's first name into the same link. So they all would go to the same place simply by typing the web address in here. Or again, all of the first names can go to a specific file on your machine. Now you can actually, and we'll see this later when we look at formulas, make this a formula so that it would go to a specific file, but the actual file name will be driven by a formula. So we could actually be looking at going to people's profiles, for example, where the file name might be the same as their first name or the same as their first name and their second name together, or even have their date of birth so that you're looking for uniqueness. Or it could go to a specific file name and we would just browse to pick that up from your machine. So those four options, no hyperlink at all, a static email address, a static website, a static file, bear in mind that each of those could have a formula, or we could go to the current website field value, but the current field must be a website address. And it says all that here in the information, it must be correctly formatted, it must be in this format, HTTP colon slash slash, etc. Or the current email field value, and again, the field must contain an email value. So none of that really applies to a first name. It can't be either of these two, but we could go to a file or an email address or a website on the internet or actually have no hyperlink at all. So if we say, okay, we're left with no hyperlink on a person's first name. But it could be quite useful to turn their email address into a hyperlink to that email address. So we select the field, right click, Format the field, hyperlink. So we're on the hyperlink tab for the email address. Now, unfortunately, the option to choose current email field value is actually grayed out, even though that contains the actual email address. So instead, we can come down to here where we'd like to put in an email address, but if we were to type in here, it would be static. What I would like it to do is actually pick up the email address that's in that field which we can do by clicking the X2 at the end here and visiting the formula workshop. Now you can see that we already have in here the name of the table dot the name of the field. So if we just delete that, this left hand side here in the formula workshop is the list of fields available in our report. Now we do visit this formula workshop a lot later during the formula chapter. So we won't look at exploring the whole of the formula workshop at this time just to use this to pick the correct field. So the correct field we are wanting the email address to be selected from is actually the email field in the TBL contacts. So I can choose that correct field from this top section, double click, and it gets placed in the main section below with the squiggly brackets around it so you know that that is a field. Save and close. The X2 here is now in red with the pencil at 45 degrees. Previously, without the formula in place, it was blue with the pencil at horizontal point. I then say OK. And the way to test that whether this works or not is to hover over an email address. So that's mike at grange.co.uk and I click. This report is requested to execute the hyperlink mike at grange.co.uk. Some hyperlinks may be harmful to your computer. Proceed. Now I can either say yes or no or always. If I say always, I won't get this dialog box again because it now knows that it can trust this report. So I'm going to say always. When able to open hyperlink mic at grange.co.uk, the specified file was not found. Let's just try that one more time. So the mic at grange.co.uk, click once and it starts Outlook 
and places the correct email address in the blank email. So if I close that and try a different one to make sure it wasn't coincidence, let's deselect the email field, come down the list, John Smith, click, starts Outlook and places the correct email address in the blank message. So that's no. So that's the ability to turn existing emails into hyperlinks or to add any hyperlink to any field. So that's simply select the field, format, format the field, hyperlink, and you have your available options. No hyperlink, which is the default, an email address, a file, or a website on the internet.